Alright, so welcome back. What's going on? Ben from Bam's Gaming Studios here today bringing you another YouTube video. Um, I know it's been a little while, guys, and I want to apologize for that, first of all. Um, I'm going to try, really, really try to keep in touch with my YouTube fan base. Those of you that do enjoy my videos and do like the tutorials that I put out in the occasional gaming videos. Um, I apologize. I first off want to apologize. I'm just going to tell you guys right now what the hell, that we're going to be doing how to install the DayZ mod today. And uh, this is the updated version 2016 current. Um, I want to apologize for the last video. For those of you I didn't reply to in the comments. For those of you that I got back to really, really late. I'm so sorry about that. I just get really caught up in life itself. And I don't have time a lot for, like, to get on my computer and get on YouTube and try to put out content. And I just want to say I'm going to try my best to do that now to take care of my, my, my viewers that I have. The few viewers that actually watch my videos. And, um... We're going to try to try again today with that tutorial, and we're going to try to make it a little bit simpler. And um, the most current things right now that still work, and I just want to say right now, and let me get this out there, Daisy Commander was the original program in the old video that doesn't work anymore. Just forget about it. <laughs> um, we're going to be using Daisy Launcher right here. I'm going to show you guys how to download this. I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to walk you through the steps. I'm going to try to make it as simple as I possibly can. Um... Now, I just do want to I do want to say I want to apologize if there's a lot of background noise on my mic. I don't know. I can't hear with the headphones I have on. But um I don't have a proper gaming mic anymore and I uh, I have this kind of thing, the setup and it's uh, I've recorded some videos with it before. I just it might be a little atrocious today because there's some construction work outside. Anyways, enough with the apologies, enough with the explanations. Let's jump right into this. Now, I'm sure most people that click on this video will have Steam and already have Arma, um, an Arma 2 Arrowhead. Now what you're going to want to do, if you don't, is just search Arma 2. And Arma 2 is going to come up. It's $12.99. It's really cheap. You're going to put in your birth date and uh, <laughs> cough, cough. If you're a little younger than, you know, 18, you're going to have to put a different birth date in there. All right. So you're going to want to buy Arma 2. And, or, you know what, the easiest way to do it would honestly be to buy con combined operations. It's Arma 2 and Operation Arrowhead for $24.99. And after you even buy uh, combined operations where you buy them separately, whatever you choose, it's cheaper just to buy them, you know, buy them together. You're going to want to go to your game library, install Arma 2, install Operation Arrowhead, run Arma 2, run Operation Arrowhead, and make sure you do all this before you do anything involving DayZ. I'm going to repeat that. Run Arma 2 and run Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead before you do anything involving DayZ, or else you could seriously screw up your DayZ. Now this right here, they put this on Steam. Don't don't download it. Just don't download it. It's it's horrible. All right. Next up, you're gonna open up Google. See, I already have the website open, but we're gonna go ahead and show you guys. You're gonna search up DayZ Launcher. Launcher. Right there, first one. Click on it. You're going to go scroll down, hit download now. You're going to let it download. It should only take a couple seconds, maybe a second. I don't know, guys. It just depends on your internet. Uh, once it finishes, um, which um, you're just going to launch it. You're going to go through the steps. You don't need to do anything special. It's just like setting up any other program. You're going to hit run, hit yes to the admin thing, hit next, next, blah, 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 create a desktop icon, go through all that. I'm not going to do it because I already had the program installed. I don't want to install it twice, obviously. Now you're going to open up Daisy Launcher, the icon it creates on your desktop. And it should start right up. Mine may take a couple seconds. My computer's been a little sluggish today. All right, here we are. Now, um, the first thing you're going to see is the servers list right here. This all may seem a little bit confusing to you. I'm going to try to break it down for you as simply as I can. All right, so the first thing you want to do is click this little settings thing up here. And you're going to see all this. Um, this should all be linked to your Steam folders. You just you don't even need to think about that. The whole reason you're here is to hit verify Arma 2. Now the reason you do this is if you don't, I found that you get an odd error when you try to join a server that it doesn't let you join the server. Um, and the way to fix that is obviously to verify the Ar <laughs> verify or validate the Arma 2 file. Now. You're gonna let it go through that. I'm not because mine is already done, and then you're gonna go through the ver like the validation of the Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead file, and once that's done, you're good to go. 
Now, let me explain another piece of this. Wow, I'm smart. All right, my bye, guys. Um, that was just that. That was. Now you're good to go with Daisy. You shouldn't have any problems at all. If you do, comment below. I would try my best to help you. Um, if I've been confusing, I apologize. It's really simple. You buy the game on Steam, the combined operations pack with Arma 2 and Operation Arrowhead. Now keep in mind, you need both of those games. Now you need to make sure you run Arma 2 and Operation Arrowhead, and then you download Daisy Launcher, you install Daisy Launcher, you go to settings, and you verify Arma 2 and Arma 2 OA, just to make sure. You might not get the error, but you need to do this anyways, in case you do. I just want you guys to have the easiest experience you can to have this, to get this downloaded. Now next up, we're going to go to, how, how do I actually install the mod? Well that's um, pretty simple, you're going to hit mods right here, and Daisy, you're going to install that, or, and you know, you're going to install that, and um, well I, I don't know what else to say because it's really that simple, you just hit the, the download button. And this is all the current Daisy mods that are public, um, stop asking me this question. My computer is completely fine. Um, you can download any of these to your computer to play. Um, they're all great mods, really. Some of them are a little tedious, boring. Um, in my opinion, tedious or boring. But it's whatever you like. And then the advanced settings, that's just... The, I don't really understand what this is here for. I think this is just to enable multiple mods and then launch the game. Alright, and then after you do that, whatever mods you have installed, which they may take a while, let's say like Daisy Math Aftermath, you hit download, it may take, it's, it's 1.5 gigs, so it may take a little while. And after that's done, you're going to go here and choose whatever mod you uh, you um, downloaded, and you're going to choose it, just Daisy Apply, and then you're going to hit Refresh, and it should bring up servers. If you want more high pop servers, you click this right here, it puts the one with more players on the top. I'm not going to join a server right now because I don't want to launch Arma. But you're going to launch this and you're going to go through the game of the launch, hit continue, wait through the loading screen, choose your gender, your spawn point, whatever the server may have. And guys, it's really just that simple to install Daisy. I'm going to run over the steps one more time and I will give you guys the visual. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, again, is search up Arma, combine operations 24.99 it's cheaper than spending the money on both of them it's like cheaper by a dollar and it's easier to do and once you buy them have them both downloaded you're gonna go to your game library and you're gonna make sure to run Arma 2 and Operation Arrowhead let them run to the main menu and then you can close them then you're done with Steam for now um, you're gonna open up your web browser search up Daisy Launcher Go to this website, make sure you click on the first link or, you know, whichever one it is. Just make sure you end up daisylauncher.com. Hit the download now, run through the installation. And then you're going to open up Daisy Launcher again, like I uh, have explained multiple times. And then you're going to wait for it to open up. You're going to go to settings. You're going to verify, verify. You get on there. And then you're going to go to your mods, install whatever you want. Then you're going to go to your uh, servers select whatever mod you want hit apply refresh servers should be here I guess they're in servers for that one uh, apply and then you just join the server that you want to be on alright thanks for watching guys any problems uh, issues questions comment below link to daisylauncher.com will be in the description thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time rate comment subscribe